Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a warrior cat, but Disney style. In this video, I will draw Lion Blaze, so if you need to, you can pause the video at any time. But anyway, let's get right into this. Begin by drawing a circle in the middle of your page. Don't make it an oval, but make it a circle. It needs to be pretty circular. I know it can be kind of hard to draw, but just try your best on this. After the circle, you'll draw the muzzle of the cat. It's not super hard, but make sure the muzzle isn't too long. I made it a little bit long accidentally, but if you want to, you can make it however long or short you can. Make sure you leave room at the bottom of the muzzle for the chin, and basically just bring it up to a smile. Then you're going to draw the chin of the cat, so it's located below the muzzle, so basically you just curve the line and then connect it to the head. Then you're going to draw the ears. Honestly, I kind of like the Disney style ears better than my style of cat ears because they just look a little nicer in my opinion. So what you do, you draw like a triangular cone shape at the top of the head and another one on the other side of the circle. And then you're just going to draw a little earlobe thing, whatever cats and animals have, and then another on the other side as well. After the ears, you're going to draw the nose, so you don't draw the full nose on this because it's only a side view, so you'll only draw half of the nose. Then erase the line between the muzzle and the head. Next you're going to be drawing the kind of muzzle part that makes it so you can get the coloration right I guess, so you just draw a curved line up like shown, and then draw a straight slash pointy line. After that's done, you're going to draw the ear fuzz slash ear hair. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, but animals have this, and it's really good to draw it on cats because it shows on cats. So then after that, you just draw the fur along the ears and along the head. Also, don't forget to add a nostril on the nose. After all the hair is done, you can add the dots on the muzzle where the whiskers come out of. So just draw about three rows of them. They don't have to be circles, but they have to be like ovals. Then you're going to draw the eye. After that, draw the eyebrow on the eye spot. Then you're going to draw the eye, so draw one line from one corner of the eye spot and then another line from the other corner of the eye spot. Then after this, you're going to draw a circle for the eye and go from there. Notice I also draw a small eyelid on top of the eye as well. It doesn't have to be big, but it has to show a little bit. Next, draw the pupil of the eye. It has to be sort of big because it's Disney style, but it doesn't have to look exactly like a cat's eye either. So after that, then you're going to draw a little dot in the middle that you don't fill in with your pencil for the light. Then you draw the whiskers. I like to draw four whiskers on both sides just because I think it looks pretty neat. And then I draw two whiskers on the top. The tuft of hair is optional as I think it looks a little more Disney style because in Lion King Simba has it, in Oliver and Company Oliver has it, and etc. If you are drawing a warrior that is a tabby cat, make sure to draw stripes on it with a darker color than the original pelt color. So I'm using gold because Lion Blaze pelt color is a lighter gold color. But anyway, you're going to draw a stripe behind his eye and on his cheeks and on top of his head. And a little bit on his nose too. One thing I changed about the style are the eyes because in Disney style, the cats have irises like humans and their entire eyes aren't just one color. When coloring the eye spot, make sure you color it a lighter color than their pelt. That way it 
looks more Disney style and you do that as well for the ears and the muzzle. When coloring a cat's nose, make sure you color a natural color, not just hot pink or something because that looks a little bad in my opinion, so I colored his nose gold like his pelt. I would love to thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this video helped with drawing warrior cats in Disney style and please be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching!